Every, every newborn gets a complete CBC at birth, and then 24 hours later, looking at that, every mastitis case has, goes completely through PCR, culture, Q scouts to look at blood differentials, yes, and post. <laughs> <laughs> But my, yeah, if, if, if I want a spreadsheet, I, I wish I, I'll pay for it. I wish <laughs> you know, if I have a book that all the diagnostic testing in the world, have you saved all of them? What's that? Have you saved all the caps? Uh, no. <laughs> so and my question was, how long has this diagnostic been useful to you? Because of people, it's people errors that, that create the grief. It's back to homo sapiens. If I could get rid of the people, over tree, uh, and knowing when to intervene and not intervene, I'd be further ahead. There's no vaccine for Homo sapiens. I look into, I look into depopulating and, and you know, euthanize and depopulate. I mean, that sometimes is the only solution. I mean, by nature, all, all these people want to, i got to save this cat. This is my job is to save this calf, and I'm going, you're actually stressing the calf by giving it stuff, and if you simply leave it alone, then that's So we do need to go, but it seems like, uh, if I was going to summarize, we recognize that we often wish we knew more about what was going on in the church we're working at, and we would like to use diagnostic tests to, to do that. And, and so sometimes that's helpful. Uh, it's a big challenge to know, to know which. But probably the thing that I heard the most often is that you might have used that to do something, but the thing to do was looking at the system, right? Changing the system. And sometimes you can do that whether you know what pathogen is or climate. Our outbreak investigation. The question is uh, do we need any diagnostics? Can we we see problems that we can solve that would make this go away, whether we knew what the agent was or not. In this case. Anyways, thank I I have a thoroughly enjoyed it. Lesson that I was following on a herd check, and he was palpating cows, and he was going open across the gland. Go to the next guy. Open. GNRH, next cow, open, prostaglandin. And I said, what are you doing? You guys tell me what he's doing. They're open, why would he get prostaglandin? Why do we do that? So the cow will come in heat and they'll breed it on a observed end. That's one reason. The other reason is we've done that for 40 years. That's what we always did to cows with the CL, okay? And then now offset comes along. Now what are you going to do with the no CL cows? Cedar. Cedar. That's what you do, but not at this time. Oh, we'll put all those cows on offset. Which of those three groups, if you have a no CL cow, you put her on offset, which of these three groups do you automatically put her into?
This isn't a hard question. You, you automatically put them into that group. If you want to make off-sync look really bad in a herd, put all the no-sale cows on off-sync. Or you can wait a week. You can do different things. This is where the decisions come into place. Now, let's imagine that I do what I call a GGPG with a no-CL cow. Which group do you put her in then? You put her into this group. That's why a GGPG protocol works pretty well in a no CL cow. By getting them set up to have two CL, you actually increase luteal regression and they synchronize. I would never use a GGPG protocol in a cow with a CL because the progesterone that's present, they don't ovulate like they should. Remember I told you, as progesterone goes up, the LH surge goes down. con American Airlines otra vez problemas en este momento estamos en el aeropuerto de Phoenix para irnos hacia Miami y después hacia Bogotá y como pueden ver dice flight closed entonces lo que está pasando ya nos acabaron de decir es que ese avión que está ahí parqueado que alcanzan a ver eh, supuestamente va para San Francisco pero está varado ahí y no hay quien lo empuje y no saben quién lo va a empujar para que pueda meter ahí el avión que va para Miami así que no tienen ningún tipo de información no saben cuándo va a pasar eso y hay que seguir esperando tiene colita Nosotros aquí seguimos en la espera, de como vuelo. siempre, de American Airlines. De un vuelo que está cerrado. <risa> Dos de la mañana en Miami, aquí con la más viajera de todas. Obviamente jugando su celular y acompañada de su siempre e inseparable gallina pintadita. Y con Doña Claudia, ya todos esperando aquí eh, para abordar a Bogotá. Bueno, el viaje ya está terminando. Eh, espero hayan disfrutado los vlogs. Eh, yo sé que fue un poco largo pero era importante mostrarles cómo se vive un congreso internacional en los Estados Unidos para que los que quieran se animen y vayan eh, obviamente como pueden darse como se pudieron dar cuenta tiene un grado de complejidad pero eh, todo tiene su recompensa así que nos vemos en la próxima esperamos llegar a Bogotá